The fastest AI chip. It's fast, it's furious, and it's actually 10 times cheaper. Yes, Grok. The fastest AI chip is disrupting the computational scene as we speak. This relatively fresh face in the industry just dropped a product that has everyone talking. Get this, it allows you to chat with open source large language models at a blistering 500 tokens per second, at an impressive 250 for larger ones. To put that in perspective, popular models like the one from Anthropic and OpenAI max out at just 30 to 60 tokens per second. We're talking about an eightfold increase in speed here. Insane, right? While established players like ChatGPT rely on conventional NVIDIA GPUs, Grok's LPU operates in an entirely new way. Before I go any further, thank you again for tuning in to the AI Trail YouTube channel, and a big hello to the new faces. At AI Trail, we are all about coolest tech, mind-bending breakthroughs, and all things AI. So let's talk more about this chip and what it means for the AI industry. You know, Grok is a pretty fascinating company. It was founded back in 2016 by this guy named Jonathan Ross, and from the get-go, they were laser-focused on building specialized chips for running big AI models like ChatGPT. Instead of using standard hardware, they designed these unique chips called Language Processing Units or LPUs. Now they're still a relatively small fry with around 4500 LPU chips deployed currently. But Ross tells me they've got big expansion plans, aiming for a whopping 1.5 million chips by the end of next year. That's some ambitious growth. Also, Ross isn't a newcomer either. He was actually one of the pioneers behind Google's Tensor Processing Units or TPUs when he worked there ages ago. So he's got great expertise in designing custom AI chips and absolutely knows what he's talking about. In terms of funding, Grok has managed to raise a solid $367 million to date. Their last big round was in 2021, when they pulled in $300 million at a unicorn valuation of $1.1 billion. Not too shabby for an upstart chip company taking on the AI big dogs. No one wonders what is making these chips faster and cheaper. Let's dig into the technology behind Grok's chips. Their blazing fast performance is all thanks to a completely new architecture. Unlike traditional GPUs that get bogged down by memory bottlenecks, Grok's design allows for optimal processing power without those same roadblocks slowing things down. And that extra speed isn't just for show. Research indicates even a 100 millisecond boost can increase user engagement by as much as 8% on computers and a whopping 34% on mobile devices. With Grok's chips processing an incredible 500 tokens per second, it could revolutionize how we interact with digital services, making the experience smoother and more natural. Now here's the really interesting part. Grok isn't developing big language models themselves. Instead, they take existing open source models and accelerate them using their specialized chips. So you get the same high quality AI, but at vastly greater speeds for a seamless real-time experience. While the chips were engineered primarily for commercial use cases, supercharging products and services with rapid processing, the implications are massive. We're talking about AI becoming an integrated, seamless part of our everyday lives. In fact, many see 2024 as a tipping point for mainstream AI adoption across consumer and business applications. Why is this all such a big deal for the year 2024 AI scene? Now, Grok's making some bold moves to double down on this tech lead. They just scooped up a company called Definitive Intelligence that builds AI tools for data analytics and modeling. Definitive software smarts could pair perfectly with Grok's breakneck hardware. Imagine having an AI assistant that can not just understand natural queries, but instantly crunch through massive datasets to surface insights in real time. That futuristic self-driving data scientist vision is exactly what Grok seems to be going for. Of course, they've got plenty of deep-pocketed competition gunning for a piece of the scalable AI pie. Nvidia, Google and others are all racing to build more specialized chips too. But if Grok can actually deliver on these lofty speed claims, they'll have a major head start. The possibilities are tantalizing. Hyper-responsive chatbots, intelligent data analytics at enterprise scale, and even real-time language translation could be on the table with such blistering processing power. 
No wonder investors have already poured over $25 million into the Grok Vision. 2024 could be the make or break year when we find out if their audacious AI ambitions can become reality and dethrone the reigning champions. One thing's for sure, it's an underdog story worth watching. Grok vs NVIDIA – The Big Face-Off For years, NVIDIA has been the big kahuna of AI hardware with their powerful GPUs. But a new kid's rolling onto the block. We're talking about Grok. With their cutting-edge language processing units, they're posing a serious challenge to NVIDIA's dominance. This begs the question, can the old king fend off the hungry upstart? C. Grok's LPUs are built from the ground up and specialized for AI workloads. NVIDIA GPUs are highly capable, no doubt, but Grok claims their chips can blow past them for AI tasks. Imagine blistering speeds and performance tailor-made for large language models. Sounds too good to be true. Well, that's exactly what they're promising to deliver. Of course, NVIDIA isn't resting on its laurels either. Their GPUs are deeply entrenched across industries. Plus, they keep innovating to maintain that versatility. So, the battle lines are drawn. NVIDIA's proven tech versus Grok's laser-focused AI acceleration. Which approach will reign supreme? Only time will tell. The real winners here could be companies looking to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. With both traditional and disruptive solutions vying for attention, they get to pick the right tool for the job. Need ultra-fast language processing? Maybe Grok's your play. Diverse workloads? NVIDIA still looks mighty appealing. Make no mistake though, Grok's emergence signals AI innovation is only heating up. NVIDIA's market position is facing its biggest threat yet. Can they adapt and overcome this upstart's ambition? Or will we see a monumental shift in the AI hardware landscape? Buckle up, folks. It's about to get really interesting. But then, is Grok the cheaper chip? We know how OpenAI charges around $20 to generate 1 million tokens with GPT-4. Well, get this. Grok is offering the same service for less than a buck. Their API pricing undercuts OpenAI by dozens of times. Sounds crazy, right? Now it's still early days, so we can't say for sure if Grok's bold pricing models is sustainable or will actually turn a profit. But there's no denying the sheer disruption they're bringing to the market, at least for now. Think about it. Not only are they offering insanely cheap token generation, but they're doing it at blistering speeds up to 20 times faster than current tech. Do some quick math and we're looking at performance that's potentially 400 times better than what's out there today. Okay, maybe that 400 times figure needs a grain of salt. But even if it's somewhat inflated, there's no questioning the massive leap Grok seems to have made here. We're talking orders of magnitude better than the mainstream solutions. Of course, only time will tell if this pricing performance revolution is truly sustainable. But one thing's for sure. Grok is putting the entire AI industry on notice. If they can deliver on these claims at scale, they could spark a seismic shift in how we think about large language model economics and capabilities. Does this all seem too good to be true? Surely there must be some catch or limitations to Grok. For starters, their tiny 230 MB memory means you need hundreds of LPUs just to handle bigger models, jacking up costs way higher than using NVIDIA's GPUs. Plus, all those chips guzzle way more power too. Another big one is that the LPUs can only do inference, not the vital training piece for creating these AI models in the first place. And since Grok is bucking industry standards, getting developers on board with optimizing for their novel chips could be an uphill climb without strong software support. While their performance per chip is mind-boggling, these constraints make it seriously challenging for Grok to legitimately topple NVIDIA's heavyweight position anytime soon. You know, when it comes to pushing AI to go faster and further, there's just so much potential low-hanging fruit ripe for the picking. Fast, cheap, and powerful AI will be everywhere. What do you think? Will we be seeing even faster chips anytime soon? But at what cost? People seem to have all sorts of interesting ideas for using Grok's lightning-fast computational potential, whatever they may be. Things are changing for sure. If you want to join me in going down this fascinating AI rabbit hole, make sure you smash that subscribe button. 
I'll be dropping new videos every week to keep you looped in on the latest developments. So who's ready to explore the mind-bending future of AI together? Stay curious, stay positive, and see you in the next one.